Marvel, your universe. Nice. What's up, Marvel Likes? Agent M here at New York Comic Con 2011, joined by Tom Hiddleston, Chris Evans, the stars of Avengers, co-stars, many stars, lots of stars, uh, and also Thor and Captain America. How are you guys doing? Good. Great. Yeah, you, really good. You just were just ushered up here from the Marvel booth. How was it down there? Uh, it was wild. There were loads of people, and they were very enthusiastic. And, yeah, I mean, um, you can see it. Yeah. We were, as I said this to, uh, to Colby and Clark before, we couldn't see the carpet at all during either signing. Uh, well, I mean, that was us over there. You yeah. were right there. Yeah. And so the red carpet was just full of people, as far as I can see. It was intense. It was really, it was really a lot of fun. It's great. Yeah. Uh, so we've been getting some questions in from the Twitterverse, and uh, you know, okay. you guys are going to be doing a bunch of interviews, but we want to see, want to give the fans a little bit of a chance to talk one on one with you guys. So uh, Mary L. Naylor says, Tom, what has been your favorite experience with fans so far? Wow. Um, what's been my favorite experience? I've had so many wonderful experiences where people have come up and said, you know, that mercifully they approve of what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, I guess uh, I just I just ran into a crowd of about seven Lokis all dressed up together, uh, which is <laughs> definitively the first time that that's happened. Yeah. So uh, that was that was great. Yeah. yeah. Chris, did you see a crowd of uh, Captain Americas everywhere? Because I, I actually saw a bunch. Yeah, I mean, I see little shields all over the place. It's, it's nice. <laughs> yeah. There were a few blue helmets with letters as well. Yeah, 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 there were. How do you guys relate to your characters? It's a question from I'm Christina on the Twitter. So do you relate to Capital? Uh, well, I, I, I mean, that's, that's, I you wish I did. Soldier. I wish I did. I mean, he's such a good man. It's tough to compare yourself when a guy has these unflappable morals. I mean, he's just, he's, he's, he's the epitome of what a good man should be. So it's, it's hard to say, yeah, we're exactly the same. I mean, that's, that's kind of a bold statement. Uh, do you guys do Halloween at all? There's a question in here from this silly Millie wants to know you guys do costumes. Do you, do you dress up for parties or anything like that? I think I'm going to go as Thor this year. Are you? Yeah. Bold choice. You got the guns for it? No. <laughs> no. 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 I've stopped working out completely. Yeah. Wouldn't yeah. that be funny though? Yeah. It would be. Hilarious. Uh, I'm going to go as Cap this year. Yeah. I like well, it. I haven't got the pecs for it though. Nonsense. I, I haven't got the hops either. <laughs> you know, we were talking with uh, with Kobe Smulders and Clark Gregg earlier, and I mentioned that in the comics, Loki changes gender at one point in, in the storyline. And so you should have seen Kobe's eyes just went wide. She's like, I want to see Tom do that. And I was like, okay. I mean, that's kind of weird, whatever. I wish I had the technology, but unfortunately, I don't think it's in my skill set. Nonsense. Yeah. This guy can do anything. What do you do? The King Lear? Is that what you know? I know. Henry V. Yeah. King Lear. It's the same thing. Six and one. Happy King Lear at the yeah. age of 30. Exactly. It's cool. I'll be the first. Eloise Schneider wants to know, uh, did you enjoy playing the villain in uh, Thor and, uh, I would yeah. assume, the Avengers? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the fascinating thing about playing uh, bad guys or someone, people who are conceived of as villains is that as an actor you have to get your head and your heart around their perspective on the world. So you have to find a way of making these very negative feelings uh, relatable and and that's just a huge challenge, a huge sure. acting challenge. So yeah, it's, it's it's fun, and you get some good lines as well. It does all right. Uh, how's it working with Joss? Because I mean, he's writing, he's directing, he's he's there constantly. From what I was reading, he's constantly rewriting. What is it like yeah. working with him in that sense? Joss is amazing. He he has such an incredible um, pan literate grasp of, of the material, and he knows the world, he knows the characters, and he knows how each and every one of them would speak at any given time. Sure. So it gives him an enormous freedom and flexibility. I think. The only way you can be flexible is 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 really to have a very deep knowledge of, of this of this stuff, and he and he has that. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, for Chris, did you? Uh, which, this question is from Chorus Seventeen Zero One. Which uniform did you like best? You know, it was the, the the one. We've got several now. Yeah, it's true. Uh, it's a tough call. You know, one. I mean, mm, it's a tough call. I. I a lot of it for me isn't just about what it looks like, it's about how it moves. You know, you gotta sit in it all day, so you wanna be able to be able to, you know, do your, your, your fight sequence and go to the bathroom. Um, <laughs> you like your cow, don't you? Love the cow, <laughs> yeah. In, in, in the new in the yeah. Avengers, the new cow is the challenge. Um, in, in the first cap it was a helmet, so it came on sure. quite easily. Um, I think my favorite was in the first Captain America, there's a scene where I rescue uh, Bucky. And I wear a leather jacket. I wear, I wear part of the, the USO tour yeah. uniform and part of the Army uniform. Uh, and that was the most accommodating by far. 
Yeah. It looked pretty badass. Too. Oh, there you go. Yeah. The man's at home in leather jacket, clearly. It does it. Where's it well? Um, is is there is it intimidating at all for you guys to to have this huge fan base that you're interacting with that you you're hearing about that you just is, comes built in with these roles? Oh man, I, it's such a huge pleasure. I think that there's people out there who who have a as I said before, like almost a pre-existing passion for the this, this, this stuff you're doing. So sometimes as actors, uh, it's hard to get people to come and see your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so to have the reverse of that is uh, it's really nice. Yeah. Um, this question is in from Rim Breaks, who is a huge Tony Stark fan who tweets to us all the time. Wants to know uh, what's the dynamic like between Steve and Tony in the Avengers? Oh, how much can I say? <laughs> Where, I mean, Mon Monaco probably has like a sniper on me right now. Yeah. Um, there, there are certainly different animals. You know what I mean? Cap is from a different time. Cap is a little, uh, you know. T Tony is modern. Tony is Flash. Tony is evil. Tony is. Uh, style and personality and charisma and, and uh, he's the center of the of attention. I think Cap is uh, perfectly happy uh, being in, in, in the shadows and in the wings and, and um, it's 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 a bit of a conflict. I can't give too much away but, no. but there's there's plenty there. Totally. Anyone anyone who's called a captain is necessarily the captain of a team. I'm not <laughs> sure Tony Stark likes being in a team. Uh huh. Well said. <laughs> well said. Uh, this question in from Marielle Naylor um, now, and I'll preface this, Kobe Smulders called you Hiddles, and I've heard that nickname before, um, and according to all the people we have, uh, you know, talking to us, that's a, that's a big nickname for you in the fandom. Hiddles. Uh, Hiddles. Have you not heard that before? I, I've had a few uh, lovely letters addressed to me as Hiddles, yeah. How, how do you feel about that? Well, you know, it's half of my surname, so it, I'd say it was authentic as a nickname. Um, it's better than some of the nicknames I, I was called when I was at school. <laughs> um, Do you have nicknames so, for each other on the set, or is it just like, just normal? Love uh, bug. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Darling. Darling Captain. Uh, we're almost wrapped up here. We're going to have the Avengers trailer after this and some footage from today's Marvel panel. And I'm going to head downstairs. Uh, you guys are going to go there as well to the Avengers panel. We'll be uh, there, yeah. Any hints of what we're going to see? I mean, uh, new footage, or are you guys no, talking about I have no yeah. idea. They, uh, it's, I, I think it's new. Um, it could be some old stuff. I have no, honestly I have no idea. Nice I'm and secretive. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah totally. Uh, well, thank you guys for joining us. Um, Hopefully you don't get mobbed too badly as you're traveling down to the panel. It's uh, the fans, they just love you guys so much and really appreciate everything you're, uh, you're doing. Uh, it's all good, man. It's awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks Tom so Hiddleston, Thanks, Chris man. Evans, this is Marvel Live. Thank you guys. Stay tuned for the Avengers trailer and lots more from New York Comic Con 2011.